Hello, I'm Vivian Cruiser doherty filling in for Amy Blaylock. Welcome to City Hall this week. The city and the county are leading the way in encouraging development of affordable housing near future light rail in Durham. Light rail transit plans already in the works after a half cent sales tax was approved in Durham and Chapel Hill. As part of those plans, local leaders want to make sure that affordable housing is preserved and created around future transit stations. Uh, light rail transit for a community has tremendous benefits in terms of economic development and in terms of mobility. But one of the things that light rail transit tends to do when it comes into a community is raise the cost of land and of housing. And numerous communities across the country, including Charlotte, have seen this phenomenon occur. And we want to make sure we avoid that here in Durham. A community meeting will be held on August the 20th to get public input. The meeting is co-sponsored by the Planning Department, the Self-Help Credit Union, and the Office of Economic and Workforce Development. We're holding the August 20th community meeting to discuss with the public the importance of affordable housing near transit, get the community's input, and to talk about the city and county four-part strategy to protect existing affordable units near transit stations and to help find ways to uh, incentivize the creation of new units near transit stations. The meeting will be held at the Temple Building at 302 West Main Street beginning at 8 a.m. We're going to take community input on their concerns about affordable housing near transit. We're going to talk about issues and considerations that will uh, help us understand how we can protect and preserve affordable housing near transit. And we're also going to uh, do a scenario where we learn about the economics of affordable housing near transit that will help inform uh, how we go about uh, meeting the affordable housing goal. The city and county strategy for addressing this goal is made up of four clearly defined components. The four-part city-county strategy to encourage affordable housing near transit stations consists of identifying incentives to help the uh, private market produce affordable housing. The second piece is to look at how and when we apply our design districts, which are zoning districts around transit areas that allow and encourage a high-density development that is walkable and that creates 24-hour communities. The third component is looking at the city's um, HUD consolidated plan and what that is is a five-year plan that looks at how our federal housing funds are directed to see how those funds can help assist in accomplishing this goal. And the fourth and final technique is looking in detail at financing techniques and other creative techniques that will allow both local government and our partners uh, in the private sector and in the nonprofit sector to help uh, contribute towards this goal. Anyone interested in attending the meeting should call 919-560-4137, extension 28216. Space is limited. Triangle Transit improves service and now has a new bus route called the Orange Dorm Express. As of August 18th, the service will connect Hillsboro and Northern Orange County residents to downtown Durham. After traveling from North Hillsboro's Park and Ride to Durham Station, riders will be able to make connections to Chapel Hill, Raleigh, and Research Triangle Park. For a complete schedule, visit triangletransit.org. Durham residents have yet another reason to be proud of the way their city operates. The International City-County Management Association has recognized Durham for its performance management efforts with a certificate of excellence. Durham is among 29 jurisdictions receiving this highest honor, and it's the second year in a row that the city has won in this category. Criteria includes reporting performance data to the public, use of that data in strategic planning, and sharing performance measurement knowledge with other local governments. If you want to be part of Durham's Civil Rights History Mural Project, there's still time to get involved. The 2400 square foot mural is the pilot program for Durham's public art. Artists and volunteers are currently in the process of painting on the outside wall of the Convention Center. It showcases moments in the city's civil rights history as remembered and interpreted by community members, ranging in age from 15 to 65. Volunteers are still needed to help paint the wall. To find out how you can get involved, visit brendamillerhomes.com. Summer may be winding down, but the fun doesn't have to end just yet. Find out how your family can help rock the park one last time this season when City Hall This Week continues. Looking for these? You drive buzzed, it could be one very expensive ride. First, you gotta make bail. Then pay me to get your car back. Your insurance premiums will go through the roof. And my legal fees just keep adding up. All told, it could end up costing you $10,000. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving.
The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. Welcome back. Trees Across Durham is marking its one year anniversary and there's a lot to celebrate. Over the past year, 1,000 trees have been planted, 1,000 seedlings given away, and dozens of residents trained in tree care. What's in store for the next year? Canker worm education and control, planting more trees, holding more trainings, and launching a tree recognition program. To find out more, visit treesacrossdurham.org. The North Carolina Gay and Lesbian Film Festival is taking place in Durham this week. It's being held at the Carolina Theater through August 24th, and it's the second largest gay, lesbian, and transgender film festival in the Southeast. Those who attend will be treated to a variety of shorts, documentaries, and feature films celebrating gay and lesbian life. More information can be found at carolinatheater.org. If you're looking for a memorable way to start winding down the summer, don't forget about the final Rock the Park event of the season. This last event is one the entire family will enjoy with a movie out under the stars. The Crudes will be shown on Saturday night, August 23rd, at Dorm Central Park from 8.30 to 10.30. Remember, admission is free and food vendors will be on hand. For more information, visit dprplaymore.org. That does it for City Hall this week. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You can also find us on demand on Dorm Television Network's webpage and on YouTube. I'm Vivian Cruzodorti. Thank you for joining us.